Good evening. After thousands of false alarm calls at homes and businesses in just the past six months, APD is cracking down. If you don't register your alarm with the city, police will no longer respond if it goes off. Here's News 13's Gabe Chavez with a look at what police are dealing with. The calls that should have been going out first, they, they keep getting pushed back. APD has had enough with false alarms, saying they delay them from arriving to homes and businesses that are actually being broken into. So starting next year, APD will not be responding to alarms that are not registered with the city. This is in, in part due to the enormous amount of false alarm notices that APD gets every year. APD says that only 2% of alarm calls they respond to are valid. What this is really getting at is a lot of those, those uh, alarms that we do respond to, more than half of the alarms that we responded to between a six month time period um, were un unregistered alarms. They weren't registered with the city of Albuquerque. That was over 16,000 alarms. Police say most of the false alarms are triggered after people forget to disarm their alarms in the morning when they go to work and when they get home at night. Another reason APD is cracking down on registering alarms is because it's been a city ordinance since 1994. The registration costs $25 a year for home and business alarms that are monitored by an alarm company. Once they do that, is there somebody that APD can reach out to and contact? So if there's a responsible party for that alarm, they can call, hey, we're getting an alarm at this, this location. We can call, hey, is this a valid alarm or is this a false alarm? Before an officer even gets dispatched out there. APD says with a reduction in false alarms, it will free up officers to help those who really need them. It delays the response time for when somebody actually needs law enforcement to show up and then we don't want people to get stuck on these calls when they can be out either doing proactive patrols and making valid arrests or responding to a critical incident. Gabe Chavez, KRQE News 13. For more information on where to register your alarm, we will have a link on our website, krqe.com. Even if you are registered, the city will still fine you $150 after the third false alarm in a year.